In this episode of Cunningham Garage, we start cutting up a jet ski. It's it's gonna be messy. Stick around. Down, 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 down. Turn it up. There it is, guys. The jet ski is up against the wall. Like you saw in the last episode, I cleaned out all the uh there's some foam and gas tanks and oh. The engine's on the other side of the shop. So that thing is empty. So it's actually really light. So I just uh, kind of lifted it and propped it up against the wall and <laughs> tied it to the rafters. Don't do this. Um, I'm not a professional, I'm an idiot. And as you can see, the very awful tape job. So that's about what I need to cut open to fit the scooter. So, I'm going to grab my old trusty friend, the death wheel, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's get to cutting. I'll show you guys what it looks like after I've cut it open. I'm, I'm not going to record this. It's going to be so messy. See you guys in a sec. Real quick, just in case you forgot, and I completely forgot to tell you, uh, yeah. Safety first. Gloves. I never wear safety equipment, but uh, for this, I, I don't want fiberglass in my system. Be right back. Look at this giant, giant mess. Oh my God. Guys, I have done, this is not, I repeat, this is not something for the faint of heart. I thought I was gonna be able to just cut the uh, bottom of the hole with a uh, death wheel, like a four and a half inch grinder. Well, it, it turned out no. Um, there's the inside. There's the section I cut out that I marked out that I showed you just a second ago. But look. Look how thick that is. I mean, look at this. Look at that. So that, that's the bottom of the hole that I showed you I taped off and cut. But it turned out this thing is super thick with foam and another fiberglass inside, another fiberglass hole inside. So it's like a double hole. Oh, it was so, so much of a pain. Yeah. So uh, if you're thinking about doing this after you've watched my video or maybe you've seen someone else do this, um, be prepared to get covered in fiberglass. Highly recommend go and get yourself a you know, a plastic suit to wear. That way you don't get fiberglass on you. But, results. <laughs> Look, I've been busy. It fits. I'm actually gonna lower, it. the front's actually gonna go lower more because, let me show you. So that circle right there is about where the, uh, the steering should go. Let me go in here, I'll show you. So the steering's gonna go right through that hole I marked. I can't get it to fit through the original. So I marked it, it's gonna go there. And the bike will actually go a little lower in the front, which is what I need. And then the back end, I will have to lower a little bit more. Good luck. It fits. This thing is so freaking cool already. So you can see, I'm actually gonna bolt it through there. Oh. I'm gonna bolt it from the frame right through there, those two holes, through the fiberglass. So there's another one on the other side of this. So I'm actually gonna put a small plate to kind of sandwich it together. That way it just doesn't rip the fiberglass. But I mean, this stuff is... <laughs> This fiberglass is super tough. I don't think I'll have a problem. Plus I'm gonna make another, a couple more little mounts to the body of the thing. And then I found a section here. Let me get in here. So this right here was uh, basically what the, it was like the frame mount for the whole front end of the scooter. Headlights, the whole front end. It's pretty tough and it's welded on there good and there's holes. So I'm actually gonna make a bracket that goes off of that, goes up to that right there. And I'm gonna have a tube 
go across to mount it there. So it'll actually bolt to basically right here. I might use these two holes and uh, bolt it down. After that, I think this thing will be pretty secure. Jet ski scooter. Let me get back so you guys can actually see it. Ugh. Look at that thing. So like I said, the front end, that's gonna go a little lower. And then the back end, I need to get the steering on there so I can actually control what this thing's doing. Take it off that center stand, see how low it is now. I may have to lower the back end a little more. But I will not be able to sit on this thing. I got, I got little legs. It's fine, you can make fun of me. Uh, I will not be able to sit on this and reach my little ass legs over the edge <laughs> and touch the ground. So what I'm gonna have to do is cut a little section out here to stick my legs through there. And then when I start riding, pick them up and put them on that footrest. I'm actually thinking about not having a, uh, shop is so messy. I think I'm not, I'm not gonna have a uh, throttle on the handlebars like a normal motorcycle. I was thinking about making a pedal, like a gas pedal. What do you guys think about that? So I'd have a gas pedal with my foot like a normal car and then front and rear brakes on the uh, steering like a, you know, a normal scooter. So what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments. <laughs> and oh, yeah, this thing was so much of a pain to do. Especially, I mean, I pretty much do all my work by myself. And lifting this thing up, I had to rig a bunch of stuff up to lift it and lower it. It's not easy. So I cut it real quick, I'm back. I wanted to put everything on there so you guys can see it while I'm talking to you. So I mean, that's what it's gonna look like. Let me uh, walk around a little, try not to run into anything in the shop. So that's pretty much the jet ski for right now. Uh, it's, it's like 10 o'clock at night, I'm cold. <laughs> I don't usually get cold, but I've been in this shop working since I got off work, trying to get that thing done for you guys. And uh, honestly, for me, it's, it's gonna be so much fun. Since I, the second I stuck that on there, I just, I sat down and started laughing. <laughs> Cause look at that. It's, it's a jet ski motorcycle. How awesome. But uh, the next episode is going to be, basically I'm gonna build brackets start wiring this thing up and get it back running and go from there. Uh, hopefully I can get it low enough, cut holes so I can actually reach the ground sitting on it and get the, uh, I guess the stance right so I can sit on it properly and touch the ground and go from there. And I'll be cutting a hole for the steering because it's not gonna work like that. I'll crash pretty quick. Uh, and I got a box of goodies. I'm not showing you right now, all the lights and tail lights and everything came in and oh they're so cool so if you're not a subscriber to this channel why not hit that subscribe button it doesn't cost you anything and you can continue watching this i can't wait till it's running i have some funny plans for it and i got some decals i'm going to talk in the next episode about i want you guys opinion i'm going to put where it says see do on the side i'm thinking about putting the whole Cunningham Garage across the uh, side of it. Let me know what you guys think about that. I'll talk to you guys next time.